If you're a researcher in higher education, especially a graduate student, postdoc, or an untenured faculty member, you probably feel a lot of pressure to publish original, peer-reviewed research. There's also a good chance you've encountered predatory publishers during your academic journey. Predatory publishing is the practice of soliciting research manuscripts to publish for profit while bypassing peer review and editorial standards. The number of predatory publishers has risen exponentially in recent years, from 18 in 2011 to 860 in 2015 to 8,000 in 2017. Sadly, all a predatory publisher needs to get started is a computer, a website, and a unique journal title. In April 2019, the Federal Trade Commission ruled that OMICS International, a large publishing company from India, pay $50 million to authors and others the company deceived. OMICS publishes about 700 journals and sponsors hundreds of annual vanity conferences and workshops using predatory practices. Predatory publishers like OMICS appear genuine, often emailing authors invitations to submit articles. They quickly accept manuscripts and charge the author fees, ranging from small to substantial, but unlike legitimate open access publishers who sometimes charge fees to process, archive, or publish research, predatory journals don't provide proper peer review and appropriate editorial oversight. In fact, scammers make false claims of peer review, indexing, and archiving, and often falsify journal ranking and impact factors. They don't follow standard policies for high-quality scholarly publishing, such as those outlined by the Committee on Publication Ethics, the Council of Science Editors, and the World Association of Medical Editors, nor do they meet accepted standards for professional scientific publications. Some predatory publishers list author names, editors, scientists, and their affiliations on their editorial pages without permission. Sometimes, predatory publishers even buy out reputable journals, then continue publication under a name that was previously considered legitimate. There is big money in this. The proliferation of both legitimate and predatory journals makes identifying the predatory ones more difficult. Sometimes the temptation to publish quickly is enough for researchers seeking status or employment to take the bait, but faculty and students should scrutinize journals and their solicitations that meet some or all of the following criteria. The invitation to publish comes in an email, sometimes with flowery language, misspellings, and strange references. The contact email address is non-professional or non-journal affiliated. The publisher's website contains spelling and grammatical errors with images that are distorted or fuzzy, intended to look like something they are not, or may be unauthorized. The website's homepage language targets authors. The website promotes the purported index Copernicus value. The publication provides poor or no descriptions of the manuscript handling process. Manuscripts are submitted through email rather than a web management system. Rapid publication is promised with ineffective or no peer review. The journal has no retraction policy. The journal provides no information on whether and how content will be digitally preserved. Initially, the journal charges authors a low article processing or publication fee, for example, below $150, but charges anywhere from $500 to $3,000 to publish once an article is accepted. A journal claiming to be open access fails to mention copyright. And a publication's scope of interest includes non-biomedical subjects alongside biomedical topics. You can also check some basic reference lists to see if a journal is either predatory or legitimate. Although these lists are not extensive, they can serve as valuable reference points. If you're interested in publishing, some best practices to follow include don't respond to a predatory journal's email. Check for a legitimate website. Select journals of interest early in the research process and consult with mentors and trusted colleagues. Use Medline and PubMed indexing, the Directory of Open Access Journals, the Public Library of Science, and Think, Check, Submit to help determine a journal's legitimacy. Educate your co-authors so they can also investigate suspicious journals. Check your own manuscript references for predatory journal articles. 
carefully review any legal matters with university counsel, such as written arguments, copyrights, usage limits, and more. And if you're a graduate student, protect your thesis or dissertation through an institutional embargo. And finally, if you're a peer reviewer or editor, some best practices include thoroughly investigate any request to be a reviewer or editor of a journal, check the credentials of other reviewers and editors, and don't be afraid to contact them and ask questions. Be suspicious of the same issues authors must consider, including the pressure to respond to email solicitations. Avoid journals that don't carefully explain in advance your role and responsibilities in writing. Ask about the volume of work and required response time. Question journals that minimize the importance of your review and don't respond to questions. And investigate journals with multiple editors-in-chief. Ultimately, the best defense is a strong offense. It's often not easy or possible to retrieve a manuscript or submission fees once they are submitted to a predatory journal, so choose wisely. It's worth taking a few extra measures to ensure that your work is published ethically for your benefit as well as that of your scientific or academic community.